viewers, uh, you, you're welcome once again to this channel. And don't forget, if you are new to this channel, make it a point of duty to subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell. And then when I upload a new video, you get notified. Well, over live experiences, I have seen that uh, people tend to worry too much about things that don't really matter or things that are not actually the problem, you know. They tend to worry about situations that, that actually creates no, no need for concern or no need for worry. And they, they tend to forget or ignore the situations that actually give rise to the so-called situations which they worry about. You see, if we can detect the source of the problem, I think it will be right enough for us to, to deal with the problem. But if we don't know the source of the problem, where the problem actually originated, then it will be very much difficult for, for us or for anybody to solve the situations or the problems that tend to worry you, that seem to worry you. And so, just like love, all over the world, people worrying, you know. I see people worrying. Some say, ah, people don't love me. People don't love you. Do not worry that people don't love you. You should be worried about why you have been too dependent on people for love, you know. You get it straight that your best lover is yourself. The moment you realize that in your consciousness, The moment you begin to realize that uh, nobody actually can give you love, you have to raise, you have to, you have to harness the love within you. If you love yourself, trust me, you can love everyone. So that is why basically all over the world there seems to be no love because people don't even love themselves. How can you think about loving someone when, when you don't even love yourself? That seems like an irony, right? The same thing happens in a relationship, you know. People thinking about their partners cheating, 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 cheating. It's like a, a common problem all over the world, you know. You're thinking about cheating. Why are you thinking? Why are you stressed over? Why are you worried that your partner is cheating? Should I tell you what you should be worried about? You should be worried as to why you are feeling so insecure. Because trust me, insecurity is a disease in itself that has no cure. Only you who feels it can cure it. How can you cure insecurity? By securing yourself. By believing that even someone lets go of you, you can still be Give yourself that assurance. Give yourself that, that belief, that, that, that conviction that you can be without anyone. When I say anyone, do not get it twisted. When I say anyone, I actually mean you can be without your partner. You can feel loved. You can feel whole. But the, the situation, the issue of thinking that my partner is cheating is a whole lot of stress, you know, stress raising. You already know. When you begin to raise stress within yourself, you begin to create poison within yourself. Eventually, you die slowly, you know. I have no family. People say this. You can imagine. I have no family. For real? Do not worry that you do not have a family. What you should be worried about is you have not been seeing every other person as a family. You've not been seeing every other person as a brother, as a sister, as a daughter, as a son, as a mother, as a father, as an uncle, as an aunt. 
when you realize this consciousness, you will realize that the world is full of families, you know. And the world is a family. It's all dependent on your perception of family, you know. Don't you forget the world is a village, and in this village, we all interrelated because we come from one source. You see, going to school, finishing high school, going to university, you know, I see a whole lot of people worrying about unemployment. But I don't think you should be worried about unemployment. You should be worried that uh, you feel too proud to do any job without a suit. Oh, yes. You should be worried about that. Because I'm a graduate, I can't do any other job done by any other person. I can only work where I can put on a shoe, you know? Like, really? What are you chasing? Is it the suit of the money or the money? What are you actually chasing? The suit or the money? So you should be worried about that. You should be worried about your mindset. You should be worried about your pride because probably that is what has been preventing you from having a job. Trust me, if you don't climb the tree, you hardly pick the fruit. If you want the fruit, you need to put your pride aside and climb up the tree. You see, uh, a lot of people say the world is getting harder. It is true. The world is getting harder. But you need to know this. This should not be a worry that the world is getting harder and so you must be worried. You are worried probably because you've been taking the world for granted. What you should be worried about is not that the world is getting harder, but that you've not been getting wiser. Because, believe you me, wise people don't take this world for granted. They take every situation. They take every situation as a passing moment, you know, as a cloud, you know, like a cloud passing by. When you realize this, you won't be worried by any situation or by the changing, by the dynamics of the, of the global economy or whatsoever. Say the same happened in politics. You know, people are worrying in Africa, in Europe, Asia, America. Everywhere, people are worried. People are getting worried that uh, politicians are getting too corrupt. But is that really the problem? I don't think so. I think what, what we should be worrying about, what you should be worrying about, what everybody should be worrying about is why we vote politicians based on tribal, racial, and party sentiment. Because especially in Africa, where I know of quite more, or quite much, people tend to vote a particular party or a, polit a particular politician based on tribe, tribal sentiment, based on party affiliation, And in Europe and America, racism is a, it's a whole lot of stuff to talk about, you know. People vote based on their race. So how could politics get better? How could politicians be aware that uh, we are being voted for the purpose of redeeming our people from, from poverty, ignorance, and diseases, you know? Since when was they are aware that you, base, you, you vote them in based on sentiment, of course, that would be an advantage. That would be a leverage 
on their path that uh, the people are not still wise. So let's move on with the status quo, which is corruption. And so you should know this, your vote is a weapon. You have the power to use it wisely or use it wrongly. It's your choice. But if you want situations to change, use your vote wisely. Uh, you see, even, even when, the, when the elections are far away, are years away, people are worried, oh, will my political party win this election? Will my political party win the next presidential election? Like, really? You worried about your, politi your political party winning the next election? Is that your worry? That shouldn't be a worry. Why should that be a worry to you? I think your worry should be that you are paying more allegiance to your political party more than the state. And by doing, by doing so, automatically you've become a part of the problem in the state. And so do not complain. Because you tend to be more patriotic, you tend to, to be more loyal to the political party rather than the state. Mind you, political parties come and go, but, but the state remains. And so why do we become so dumb sometimes as to not to realize this reality? I used to say this, for any problem in the state, we are all responsible in some ways for all the situations in the state. We all have some responsibilities in some way. It might not be equal, but we might have certain actions or inactions that, that causes certain situations. I am specific about African politicians because I've been studying African politics for quite a while and I've been on the ground. You see, when the African youth make moves to migrate to Europe and America by way of crossing the Mediterranean Sea, the African the African politicians make this an issue, forgetting the real issues, you know. You shouldn't be worried that the youths are crossing over the Mediterranean Sea. You should be worried about your selfishness, your corruption, and your inability to support innovation and provide employment opportunities for the youth. When once you do this, the problem is solved. Youth, youth will, not be, will not be risking their lives in crossing the, 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 the Mediterranean Sea. They will not be risking their lives in dying in the desert, you know. But how can you make hay when there is no sunshine? There is another issue affecting the whole universe, you know, the whole globe, the, the whole planet that is affecting Mother Earth, you know. There is a striking issue that is currently in the verge of destroying Mother Earth. But yet, we're giving it a blind eye and making an issue of the consequences of our actions. And this is the problem. You are worried about climate change. 
Oh, the climate is changing, global warming. Like, serious? Is global warming the actual problem or is it a consequence of a certain, certain action? I believe it's a consequence of a certain action, which is done by none but you and I, humanity, you know, we destroy the planet. You shouldn't be worried about climate change. You are worried about climate change because you haven't been worried about deforestation and greenhouse gas emission. At least start planting some trees and save Mother Earth from global warming. We think Mankind thinks we are destroying Mother Earth, but in here we are Mother Earth, and destroying the planet, we are destroying ourselves. Because we will still go, we will still die on, we will still die and pass, but the planet still remains and replenish again. So, it's the responsibility of every inhabitant in this planet to make the planet a human-friendly environment, to care for the plants, the animals. Because If these things go into extinction, humanity will go into extinction. A United Nation, this global body called the United Nation, also seem to fall pre of this thinking attitude. Worrying about the consequences. Rather than the situations that lead to the consequences. Why should the, why is it that, or why, why is the United Nations worried about world peace, you know? The mere worry about world peace does, does not bring world peace. The mere lamentation about world war does not bring world peace. As I talk to you now, what is going on all over the world? And are you logically telling me that... Uh, the mere lamentation, the crying, the worrying that, oh, we want, we, want, we want world peace. We want world peace. World peace must come. World peace must happen. Does that in itself bring world peace? In my opinion, no, it does not bring world peace. I, I believe... Uh, the United Nations should be worried about the massive production of arms and ammunition that is going on all over the world. And of course, the intention of certain powers to run the world as their personal property. I tell you this, no equality, no peace. More arms leads to more wars. Another issue that people seem to be worried about so much is poverty, you know. Oh, I'm living in poverty. Oh, I'm living in poverty. Let me tell you this. 
all our worries leads us to nothing but stress. And so the mere worrying about, about situation that in themselves does not bring the solution, it's like adding to our stress, you know. Don't you be worried that you are living in poverty. You should be worried that your perception about being rich is limited only to money and things. How about contention and self-love? If you love yourself and you are content with what you have, you can live anywhere and with whatever limited resources that you have. Stop raising your own stress level, you know. Because for all you, for all you know, nobody actually cares about your lamentation. So try to be content and love yourself. We all have friends. But sometimes we tend to worry too much that uh, our friends don't appreciate what we do. Our friends don't appreciate us. Do not be worried that your friends don't appreciate you. You should be worried that you care too much about appreciation. I should tell you a solution to that problem. Free your mind from expectations because people don't behave the way you expect them. And so the more you expect from them, the more you become disappointed. So expect anything from everyone. Expect good and bad from everyone. Expect any situation at any time. And so you, you will never be in doubt. When you are wise, you'll be surprised at no situation. Once again, don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for being part of this family. Help the brother go to the channel. One love.